This week marks the 20th anniversary of the second of two serious sexual assaults that happened in Piggott's Hill Lane in Harpenden. The first occurred on the 7th of April 2002 when a 16 year old girl was walking in Piggott's Hill Lane when she was approached by a man dragged into a nearby field and sexually assaulted and asked to perform sexual acts. The second assault happened on the 19th of June 2002 when a 17 year old female was walking along Wheathampstead Road when she was grabbed by a male placed into a small red vehicle driven down Piggott's Hill Lane and again dragged into a nearby field and seriously sexually assaulted and again asked to perform sexual acts. 20 years is obviously a significant amount of time that's passed and although a thorough investigation was launched at the time, um, we have never identified the man that was responsible for both of these assaults and a BBC Crime Watch appeal was broadcast and again, unfortunately, no offender was ever identified. So the victims are now aged in their 30s and they went through a harrowing ordeal at the time and it's really important to try and get closure for them. Um, Crime Stoppers are offering a reward of up to £10,000 for information which leads to the arrest and conviction of this offender. The suspect at that time was described by both girls as being of dark skinned appearance between about five foot seven and five foot nine tall mid to late thirties and he had dark hair and one of them describes that he had some sort of stubble on his chin at the time of the offence. So in the first offence the um, the young girl described seeing a Vauxhall Astra in silver that was either a C or D registration and in the second offence then a red small vehicle was described, possibly like a Vauxhall Corsa and that was a M registration vehicle. So I'm really asking the public to think back to 2002, if they lived or worked in Harpenden at the time, did they see something suspicious that perhaps has been playing on their mind that they never told the police about? Um, also think back to anyone you knew at the time, did they own a vehicle of similar description, did they suddenly get rid of that vehicle or suddenly up and move from the area for no apparent reason? Um, and I would ask people to just look at the e-fit again that was created at the time and see whether they know anyone that matches that description.